this week's edition of The Pit Stop. This time around, we're joined by motorsports content creator Beth, who's also better known as Beth F1 on her YouTube and a member of the F Series. So today, we thought we'd discuss some big news. Mick Schumacher signing for Haas for 2021 alongside Nikita Mazepin. So to kick things off, we thought we'd ask our Crash F1 digital editor and Beth how they think Mick Schumacher has graduated to F1. Is it on merit or is it by his name? Hi everyone at Crash.net. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be on and I'm really excited to talk about Mick Schumacher. First of all, is Schumacher graduating to F1 on merit or by name? I think at the start of his career or when I first heard of Mick, I was like a lot of people and thought he's going to get into Formula 1 just because of his name, regardless of how good a driver he actually is. And I wouldn't blame Ferrari whatsoever for doing that with him, but he has 100% earned his place. He's not just flown up the ranks like we have seen other drivers in the past. For example, Max Verstappen or Lance Stroll being pushed through the feeder series. He has spent a really good amount of time, two years in Formula 3 and two years in Formula 2, getting to build his skills, build his racecraft. And it's really shown that he's been given that time to mature. So yes, 100%, he has got there on merit. And it's not just down to his name, though his name does help. I have to admit that I wasn't blown away by Mick, even after he won the F3 title back in 2018, following a year and a half without a win to his name. And I also think that he, he had a bit of an underwhelming F2 season in his rookie year. But this year, he's... He's proved me wrong, I have to admit. For me, it's his consistency that has been the most impressive and remarkable aspect of his season. Um, he may not have as many wins as his nearest rivals, and he doesn't appear to be as stunningly quick as the likes of Cam Milot. Mix yet to take a pole position this year, despite leading the championship. But it's his record of 10 podiums so far that really stands out for me. It's this streak of consistent point scoring that has taken Mick to the brink of winning the title. While the likes of Cal Mylar and Robert Schwartzman have both had bad weekends here and there, Mick has never come away from a race weekend without a solid points haul to his name. Of course, the Schumacher name would have helped him. And it's a great story that the Schumacher name looks to be heading back to the F1 grid. But 2020 has proven that Mick also has the talent. Now, how do I think he will fare in Formula One? We all know that Haas isn't the best team that's on the grid at the moment, but I think that team will be really integral for him to learn so much about the sport and about being a good team player. It's something that I think George Russell has really benefited from being at Williams. It has been frustrating every single weekend we've watched George race because we know the amount of talent he has, but he's just not been able to score points. So hopefully we'll see that change this weekend. But just because Haas aren't at the front of the grid or even the midfield, they're at the back of the grid, he's going to learn so many skills that he would never learn in a top team like Ferrari when they finally get themselves sorted out. So I'm really excited to see how his rookie year is. If he follows the path of how he has done in feeder series, he will be a lot more subdued. He'll be a lot more in the background. Hopefully we'll see some standout performances like we did in his first year of Formula 2 when he won the sprint race in Hungary, I believe. But I hope that the pressure isn't put on him to perform straight away because it is written in his story that that doesn't happen in his first year of every series. So I hope everyone is kind about it. And finally, will he take the F2 crown this weekend? 100%. I would love for Callum Eilat to win the crown because it would be a massive um, rude word to the rest of the Formula One paddock, in particularly Ferrari for not pushing him forward for a F1 seat. But 
Mick has been so consistent. Mick has the best start I think we have seen from a racing driver in such a long time. No one can come close to him. And if we look at the bad luck that he start, had at the start of the season, where he had his fire extinguisher go off, he was out of position a lot of the time, he would have wrapped up this championship a long, long time ago. And it would only be fitting for him to take the Formula 2 title like he took the Formula 3 title two years ago. Schumacher looks in a really strong position to take the F2 crown heading into next weekend season finale in Bahrain, holding a 14-point lead over Callum Eilert. That is despite squandering some points to Eilert last weekend. There's the added element of racing around Bahrain's outer loop to add into the equation, and that will provide some unknowns for the drivers and a challenge. It's easier said than done, but Really, all Schumacher needs is a solid, error-free weekend, while Eilat really missed the chance to eat into that points lead by making a critical error in the race and, and squandering vital points. While I think that Eilat is naturally the faster of the two drivers, it's Schumacher's consistency that I believe will see him across the line. Barring a disaster, I think that Schumacher will be heading to F1 as the newly crowned F2 champion. So how do you think Mick will fare in Formula 1 next year? Do you think he can wrap up the F2 title this weekend? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, keep fighting, Michael.